But I mean, my first experience with osmosis was back in Ohio when it was rolled out to the first and second years. Um, and when they came into their clerkship after it was rolled out, the amount of baseline information that I could see where that shifted was so high. It was just so impressive. Um, so why I'm so excited about this is I find that, especially in the field of obstetrics, we speak a different language. And I think that it's very helpful to just have the information streamlined in one place where you can find the information. And if you choose to then go beyond that, you can. But all of the basic information that you will need to be successful in your clerkship, I believe, is there um, with the supporting documentation. So you don't have to look that far. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm really excited about it. And quite frankly, I wish it existed when I was in med school. So a few things I, I've been really excited about um, this whole product line. One is that it gives, like we, we talked about its scope to the medical students. So they have this roughly 10 minute video that they can look at quickly to get the framework for what they are either working on, going to be reading about. So it really gives them that scaffolding so they can start putting in those details later. It also gives them a great foundation to have intelligent conversations on rounds. So it's not, um, you know, the attending having to start with zero and working every time this comes up with a new rotation coming through, they're starting saying the same things over again. They get to start higher and then explain, okay, here's the, the basic rules. This is why this patient is an exception to the rule. Here's my clinical decision making that says, yes, this is where we're going and we're deviating this way because we're seeing this right now. So I think it's really giving them the opportunity for that hands-on on learning in the moment to get the most out of the clinical experience rather than trying to take it all in all at the same time. Um, the second thing that I'm selfishly very excited about, um, we all know that on the clinical side, faculty is under immense pressure for production, and they do not have a lot of time for teaching. They they teach, but there's a lot of pressure coming from the, the production side. So it's this really this balance of what am I going to give now? Um, so this helps offload that some because they're not having to sit and make PowerPoints to run didactics. They're not having to, you know, look up all the foundational science of like, I think I remember some electron transport chain here, you know, things like that. So all of these videos have a link of here's the, the clinical science, but here's the, the background foundational science that also applies to this. So the students can, and the faculty, I've done it, um, will review some of that foundational science that's not as fresh anymore and be able to finally integrate that back in instead of having first two years of preclinical all foundational science, then we forget it and do clinical. So this really pulls that together. Yeah, what something I, that really stands out to me with regards to the videos are kind of the, the way it's organized and structured. So it's like you said earlier that the videos are basically walking them through the DMT. And the DMT, you know, it's basically algorithm based. And so it really gears them well for the clinical setting because it's very relevant to what it's really very relevant to two things. Number one, what they're seeing in the clinical realm and how to kind of organize their thought process. And um, the second thing is it gears them towards the, the their shelf exams too, because once again, they're on their shelf exam, they're pre getting presented um, a patient and they need to kind of figure out, well, where does this patient belong in kind of the algorithm and, you know, where am I at in terms of, am I still making a diagnosis? Am I implementing treatment and all this? So I think that the, the decision-making tree is going to, and the way that it's structured in the teaching, the way it's organized in the videos is really going to be helpful for the students, both in the clinical decision-making as well as prepare them for their shelf exams. And, um, and that, that's really, really what I'm excited about. I'm very excited about osmosis, mostly um, as a clerkship director. I recently took the um, third year medical student shelf exam again after many, many years. So it's really refreshing to know um, a lot of the content that I saw on the shelf exam was being reviewed in osmosis. And that's really what we want for our students to understand how to think when they have a patient on the floors, on, in the emergency room, how to triage them and obviously add to their medical knowledge for excelling at uh, shelf exams as well as steps. 
And, you know, the other thing as from an educator standpoint, this not only benefits your students, but it also helps you as an educator. I um, was reviewing one of the content regarding anemia, and I used that content to actually educate my residents, interns, and medical students on rounds. And I told them this is the tree, branching tree that you kind of want to think about, the scaffolding, the foundation. And I found, you know, they found it very helpful. I found it very helpful for me to remember how to educate them appropriately, too. Start a conversation to learn more today.